trying to, when you going to give me $20? Yeah. Oh, what I got to do, bro? Nah, you good. What's going on guys like out men back in the building but i'm in here in the truck made it down here to kenley north carolina i am on my way to orlando florida to drop my load down at mclean so i'm here at the flying j it's uh one of our it's one of our networks that we can fuel up at so while I'm fueling, well, I'm, I'm posted because I'm on my 30, but while I'm here, I'm going to fuel, get a shower, get freshened up and get ready to go. But before I go, I want to go ahead and do another poll. You see what I'm saying? Driver poll question. What's going on? So I know how you guys feel about cameras in the trucks. I mean, we got one. See right there? We got one. We have a front-facing and, uh, and rear-facing camera. These cameras right here are event-based cameras. You see what I'm saying? They go off in, a, in, in an event. I hope I said that right. So what sets them off, lockout men? Well, I'll tell you. They say hard-breaking, hard-swerving, speeding and of course a crash they say a third party looks at the footage in any event when when the event happens a third party looks at it and they 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 got it on points so like one through five or one through ten if an event is like severe enough they'll send it over to the uh safety director so that's what what these cameras is about a lot of you drivers a lot of you drivers really got some heavy heavy opinions about these cameras some say these cameras are evasive some say these cameras is an invasion of privacy you know why do they have to have an inside of the truck or uh, the cab camera you know my thing is this, and I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's my opinion on it right quick. What's up there, driver? You got up north. Say what? what That's it? me. Yeah. I like that. Hey. <laughs> I'm from the 80s. I'm a 70s baby. I grew up in the 80s. And I'm an 80s kid, too. Yeah, what's going I'm on? 18, I'm from 1970. I grew up in the 80s. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, my, my name's Sean. What's your? I'm, I'm Tom. Tom. And whoever's looking, I need help. I got laid off in Adventure Lux. I'm not afraid. I got my five-year-old, my wife inside. I'm willing to work for food. I'm in Motel 6. It's predominantly white out here, and everybody moving like this. And this is up north salt right here. I'm willing to work for food, man. You can meet my family. I don't got to have a dime. I just made $4. Well, I, I'll tell you this, brother, man. <laughs> I'm out here trying to, when you going to give me $20? Yeah. Oh, what I got to do, brother? No, you good. May God bless you, brother. No doubt, man. You take it easy. Thank you. All right. Yeah, so that's that's what's up. That's what's up. Let's uh let's get back at it, man. My man right there, he needed a helping hand and I was I was able to bless him. You know, I, I'm hoping that I get my blessings in return. So you guys have some very, very hard opinions on these cameras. Let's go out here and find out what these drivers opinions on these cameras let's go what's your opinion on driver cameras inside of the trucks i don't want to operate it. i don't need it for company people I, I wouldn't drive it what's your opinion on driver cameras inside of the trucks oh safety that's that, what i'm saying that's it yeah all right, we'll go with that. We'll go. That's like a no, you won't drive with it, or no, no, that you don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, okay, okay. I wouldn't drive a truck with it. Okay. I mean, I mean because that's, that's like, like you don't trust me. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hire me, I'm a professional. Some companies, it, it, if you want me to sit underneath a, a, a motherfucker, you watching me all day, the, the reason I got this job is because I ain't nobody there. Right. Now you putting the supervisor there. It's an invasion of your privacy. You know what? If you can't trust your drivers to be out there on the road, then you should obviously get a new crew. Delicast 66. <laughs> your shower is now ready. You don't have an opinion? No. I work for a company like that, you have me paying me real good. I got you. You understand, man? I appreciate your opinion, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. G S T Y L E. What's your opinion on driver cameras inside the cabs? Um, well, I think it's an infringement on a policy to me, but I'm totally against it. Hey, my G. The pump's down. I got a quick question for you. What's your opinion on driver cameras inside of the trucks? You don't like them? Nope. It's of my privacy. Do they got driver cameras inside their trucks? If there's an accident, it's wrong, man. <laughs> Especially when you're like this, scratching your nuts. It's an invasion of privacy. No. <laughs> I spy. No. Do UPS has driver cameras inside of their trucks? My opinion is, if somebody runs into me and they try to say it's my fault, I've got the camera to so cover my ass. Inside the truck. What's your opinion on driver cameras inside the trucks? Well, it don't bother me. So if I get ready to use the telephone, I'm going to stop and use it anyway. It's all right, I guess. So not facing me or facing the road? Facing you. <laughs> no, I don't want it facing me. I kind of cover them. I ain't going to say what I do. But no, I think it's wrong. It probably ain't three times out of a month they look at your truck. But you because they got too many trucks. I don't you. have them in mind. <laughs> they ain't going to put one in mind either. Inside. <coughs> they want to watch me jack off. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Inside the truck? I don't like that. Not inside the truck. <laughs> I like it on the outside. I want it inside. Ain't none of my business what's going on in my truck. What's your opinion on driver cameras inside of the trucks? Facing you? I don't like it. Not facing the driver, but out. I don't want it. Facing the driver. What's your opinion no, no, no. on that? No. Well, no, no on that one? Personal vehicle. I don't. I just use it for my personal use. Wouldn't bother me. Looking at the driver or looking out? Looking at the driver. Nope. Privacy Look. issue. Looking out. Looking out. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's one of the best things ever. I don't like it. Privacy. Hundred percent. I don't really like it facing the highway, but if it's facing me, I got a problem with it. But it's in my truck, but ain't nothing I can do about it. But. There you go. What's your opinion? on driver cameras inside the trucks. No good. That works for me, yeah, check me out. Good at all. Nah, we don't need that. That's, that's too much in our, in our state. I would just face that one, it's a fine. What about Cause face? Because if it would help you to get an accident, it would protect your ass. Two fold. It's very beneficial. Because if somebody cuts you off and clips your bumper, you're hit with an automatic collision. All these lawyers that you see billboards for, mm -hmm. you've been involved in an accident, call us, we'll get you money. Mm -hmm. So that camera is going to protect that driver. I, I just opened my YouTube channel uh, a week ago. Car uh, Holler Boys. What about facing in, though? We don't record it and it should come up. I don't need this. They work. I, I like them. <laughs> okay. They save on accidents and stuff. The camera, that's privacy. That's your place. Like your home, away from home, they ain't got no business. No, what's going on in the truck? What's going on in that truck? Ain't nothing. I got you. I got you. What, so, what you think? Well, 
I mean, I drive for a company that has cameras in the truck. Now, me personally, I mean, I don't like it personally, but it's something that I had to get used to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, like I said, I when I get up in the morning, I'm commando. So that when that curtain's open, whoever looking, it's, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Whoever, whoever, whoever's looking, I'm like, so it, it really don't, it really don't bother me. If you're not doing nothing wrong, you don't have nothing to worry about. Well, I got my own truck. So well, there I, you go. I feel like they right now. You should look at the highway, not what the driver is. Right. What the driver's doing, that's on him. Look at the highway because who do cut you off, you know, just like I know, you a driver, but you should look at the highway, what's going on around that truck, not what's in that truck. Now, here's the flip side to that, though. Now let's say let's say that that driver do get into an accident. Would it be safe to would it be safe to say that the company would like to know what that driver was doing at the time of the accident? Majority of the drivers would be the same. It don't be up. It be the four wheelers. You know just like I know. The four wheeler you, you can't stop. Nobody from cutting you off. You can't stop. You know just like I know. Cut you off, then go right here and stop. What you supposed to do? On the company side, they looking at it like, you know, the insurance is kind of like forcing them to put the cameras in the... That's, that, that's the problem right there. The insurance companies are, are ruining the truck, the drive. Because when you hire somebody, you can't hire them because you got to go through the insurance company. Fuck the insurance company. Go, go away. Ticket is a ticket. Y'all yeah, make yeah, mistakes. What? Yeah. The insurance company got to know what I'm doing. Then like I hey, you might sleep nude in the damn truck. The insurance company will see me in the truck, but do the ass thing. But all right, so let me throw this one at you then. Let me throw this one at you. What if it is the driver's fault? What if the driver was distracted for whatever reason? Now, would you say, is it safe to say that the company should know what the driver was doing at that time of the accident? Five times out of 10, us drivers, we professional. We're not going to be doing this. No. I break behind the wheel because we got everybody's life at risk. We ain't going to do nothing to jeopardize that. Now, you got some new jack drivers out here that, that, that drive with their feet up on, the, up, on the, up on the console now. You got some new jack drivers out here that got they, they DVD player right there in the dashboard now. But not they, the new truck got that all, that, 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 shit, that, that shit in the front of it where it would slow down. The truck would slow down because it come to a stop. So, so what, what you say? Just because he, he got truck going 65 miles per hour, see, you're going to get comfortable. If you got a long ride, you're going to get comfortable. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I ain't do that shit either, but I, I drove past many of drivers that, that that does that, that get too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And then up all of a sudden, you know, they, they coming up on that. All right, now they're coming up on that four-wheeler, and they just happen to, and it's too late. I mean, there's plenty of videos out there that's 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 too late you drivers. A survey? Yeah. Who? No, it's for my YouTube page. Oh. oh, I gave you one, didn't I? Yeah, I ain't got the handle. Just tell a most truck driver, they'll open a whorehouse and work a street corner for that driver. <laughs> you can see how bitch got cameras on. <laughs> <laughs> All right now. But yeah, I mean, you know, there is a lot of videos that that you know that shows drivers, you know, doing do, doing stuff they're not supposed to be doing. How's that? But you don't want to get too comfortable, though. Nah, if you get too comfortable, you're going to go fall asleep. But most of, most of us don't get too comfortable. You fall asleep. All right. That's good enough, man. I appreciate that. I, I like that. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Check me out, man. Okay, okay. All right. I want to thank you guys. You know that $20? That $20 that I gave that dude this morning? That was from you guys. That was from you. Yes, yes, sir. That was from you guys. You guys helped me help my man out with $20. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I'm saying?